Hello and welcome to this episode about carnitine, the amino acid, and why vegan gains is wrong about it. So Brian, before we start this video, do you have any conflict of interest to present? No conflict of interest. While I am a developer and consultant for orthonutrition, we do not presently sell carnitine, so there is no technical conflict of interest, but I am a believer in supplements and I am widely interested in research in supplements. Okay, thanks Brian, awesome. As reported by YouTuber and vegan activist Vegan Gains, quoting an abstract headline in the Journal of Nature, the amino acid L-carnitine is labeled a risk factor in heart disease. Brian, why is this not true? Okay, well, it's been widely reported by the media about the so-called connection or link between the amino acid L-carnitine and heart disease or atherosclerosis, but there's actually no real powerful link. We're talking about small mice that are genetically bred differently it's just regarding human metabolism and basic physiology of how an amino acid such as carnitine is metabolized. It's simply not representative of reality. This is not true research to even make a reference of this link. Do you mean that this study he's referring to is actually of low quality? It's low quality and it's highly of conflict of interest because the study authors are linked to a cardiology diagnostic device they stand to make quite a bit of money for the next 20 years during the patent process. If this link, which is at this time a myth, takes hold, uh, they stand to make a lot of money selling a, a fallacy to the public and making you know untold amounts of money in the process. It hasn't standed up to scientific scrutiny in the scientific process. It's premature. It's, it's done on animals. And it's just too weak of a link, especially considering the decades of research promoting heart health by the amino acid carnitine. Yeah, and, and this is what makes it so alarming. If people turn away from carnitine, it could actually damage their health, yes? Well, it just uh, it, it might make them uh, afraid of what they don't really need to be afraid of. You know, when you look at foods such as phosphatidylcholine, which comes from eggs, or phosphatidylcholine that comes from lecithin, this also produces the, the various metabolites consumed from the bacteria associated, much like carnitine. These also show that actually they have a, a very heart-promoting quality to it, very much like carnitine or red meat does. So it's really a misnomer to consider this study to be even worthy of quoting. So right now we have lots of evidence to show that carnitine is actually heart protective. Here's an example, Bob. Carnitine transports fat to the mitochondria, that's your power plant of your heart cell, where it's burned for energy. And unlike other organs, your heart runs mostly on fat. Without carnitine, your heart's fuel supply is compromised. Just like your car, your heart cannot run without the fuel. And that's why there's plenty of evidence showing that carnitine improves heart health, not, it does not harm it. Uh, what carnitine does also, Bob, is that it improves blood lipids, lowers blood pressure, improves the heart rate, decreases death rates in heart attack survivors, increases blood flow to the heart, relieves symptoms of congestive heart failure, decreases angina, which is chest pain, slows the progression of atherosclerosis, increases exercise tolerance in patients with heart and vascular diseases, and by the way, I used to work at a clinic. We would involve these amino acids uh, intravenously for people who were, you know, uh, who had heart disease. And I have some uh, references we will disclose here that pretty much back when I'm just saying up right here. Okay, awesome, Brian. Thank you so much for the information. Now let's go out and eat a big fucking. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's delicious. So what we basically conclude is that Vegan Gaines hasn't really done his research this time. I mean, he's publishing a lot of videos. He's, he's attacking most anyone with a you know history of eating meat molecules. But for sure, he has you know he has a nice message. He wants to help people. So our take-home message for you, the audience, is: don't be afraid of consuming carnitine. And Mr. Vegan Gains, this time, you shrink. <laughs> <laughs> In a nutshell. <laughs>